Hello world, my name is Aaron and I'm on WebEx's developer evangelism team. Today I'm dropping by just to fill you in on a few new updates to our meetings API. So let's not waste any time and jump right in. As you can see, I'm on developer.webex.com. Um, and this is where you'll come to find out all the important details you'll need to implement any of the updates uh, that I mentioned here today. The first thing I wanna show you is uh, that now through the meetings API, we can set up breakout sessions, um, fill in their invitees, um, even configure a template for meetings with breakout sessions included, as well as update breakout sessions and delete breakout sessions all through our REST API. Um, so just to get to the section in the documentation about that, I'll scroll down here under APIs until I get to meetings, um, and then I'll come into our reference here and I'll scroll all the way down to meetings here. Great. Um, so I actually have tutorialed, given a brief tutorial before on this specific endpoint to create a meeting. Uh, the difference today being that the focus is how to add the details necessary to create a breakout session. Um, so I'll just fill in a few fillers here. Okay. Well, I've got a copy and pasted start time. And I'll just modify that to make an end time as well. Okay. And then we'll, we'll scroll all the way down here. Um, so on our website, we've got a nice little switch you can flick right here. This is the equivalent of passing the value true into the enabled breakout uh, sessions parameter here, or property rather. Um, and then you do have to actually include an object um, with the title of the breakout session. Oops. Okay. And then you'll also need the invitees, um, which you'll pass in separated by commas in an array. Um, I'm going to use an email address here from this test site. Okay. All right. That looks good to me, so I'll run that. Awesome. And what we get back is a 200 status code. So that's the expected response for a successful created meeting. Um, and in this case, the meeting includes breakout sessions. So you can see the breakout sessions uh, is true in the metadata, and it's also giving you um, a link here how to navigate to more details about the breakout sessions. So um, if I were to copy and paste the ID of this meeting, I can also go to a different endpoint. I can go to our Git meetings endpoint, pass that ID in here, scroll down and run that. And as you'll see, it's essentially the same object that we got back uh, the first time. That also includes the breakout sessions. Now, in order to use the breakout session specific endpoints, you will need to be an admin. Um, and for any other details involved in implementation, definitely take a look here at the docs. Now, a few other cool things uh, that came to Meetings API recently that I want to briefly go over is closed captioning. And we are really excited about this. Listen close. As of now, you can actually retrieve the closed captions from a meeting without recording said meeting. So this is a very powerful feature uh, that many of our large enterprise customers have been waiting for. And so if you are a developer at one of those enterprises, definitely take a look into the docs to see how you can implement this as soon as possible. And then another a new addition is going to be an API endpoint for administrators to use that will actually retrieve all meetings on all of a user's sites. So Cisco included, um, some companies actually have several sites uh, implemented, uh, several WebEx instances implemented. Um, and with this new uh, functionality, administrators would be able to actually retrieve all of a specific user's meetings 
with one endpoint. And this is meetings from all of their sites, any site, any organization that they're a part of. So this is a, another very powerful feature. Um, once again, make sure you check out developer.webex.com to find out all the important details on how to implement any of this stuff. Um, and then you'll also wanna jump over uh, to our Cisco developer community. Um, so we've got Webex for developers here, excuse me, our Webex developer community, um, where you can ask questions, answer questions, or just share anything that you're in the process of building. We also give updates for new blogs here. So stay tuned um, here, and then also check us out over on Twitter uh, at Webex Devs. We're constantly posting all about uh, some of the webinars that we've got up and coming, um, new things from Cisco, new things from Webex. So it's definitely a great way to stay in touch. All right, devs, see you next time.